So there is a sense that there will be a future. And he's not the only one. I mean, people are having children. People do, you know, go to school. There is, there is in, 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 in parts of Palestine this, this realization that there is going to be a future. And we need to realize this because we know that Vietnam <coughs> managed to put itself together and to so did Cambodia after the killing field. And so did Europe after World War II and the Nazis. We heal and we move on, but, we're not gonna, but it's not gonna happen on its own. South Africa recovered, or is recovering, after you know, centuries of, of, of apartheid and, and, and racism and, and so forth. So people do recover, there is a process where we need to look forward, and those of us that are here and have that ability need to do that. But there has to be the courage to say what needs to happen. In apartheid South Africa, it was clear, apartheid had to go. It had to go. In Latin America, it was clear, the dictators had to go. It doesn't matter how much the U.S. supported it, it doesn't matter how much the CIA supported it, they had to go. And they went. And they fell. And in Palestine, Zionism has to go. There cannot be a Jewish state in an Arab country where more than half the population is not Jewish and claim it's a democracy. It's a lie. And it's racist. And it's not possible. <laughs> and it's, not, it's not possible and it's not honest to sit here today to talk about peace with Israel. There cannot be peace with Israel. There could not be peace with apartheid South Africa. It has to fall. There has to be a change. Water has to be given to everyone equally, not to some to uh, more to Jews, as Jewish Israelis, and so Palestinians. This is absurd. It has to go. It is a corrupt, racist system. It is brutally oppressive. It is brutally violent. The only way to maintain a Jewish state or a so-called Jewish state, because there's nothing Jewish about the state of Israel, but a so-called Jewish state. The only way to, to maintain a so-called Jewish state in an Arab country, which is what Palestine is, is by keeping thousands of people as political prisoners, by denying people water, by creating a bureaucracy that is racist and, may, and makes life impossible for people, some through military law, some through civil law, but it's basically a huge bureaucracy, and by bombing and killing them on a regular basis as we've seen over the last 65 years. That's the only way to maintain a so-called Jewish state in Palestine. So anybody who supports the state of Israel, I suggest stand up and say, I support racism, I don't care about people dying, I don't care about people not getting water, I don't care about political prisoners, I support racism in Palestine. Admit it. This is the thing. And there were people who thought that apartheid was right in South Africa. And there were people who thought that legalized racism in America was good. And there were people who profited from all kinds of racist and, 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 and brutal regimes around the world. We know that. But own it. But this is what you support. Otherwise, you join the struggle. The struggle means BDS. The struggle means that Israeli diplomats have to, be, have to answer over and over again for the crimes of the state that they represent. And it means a struggle to end the Zionist regime in Palestine and create a democracy with equal rights. And I'll tell you this, regardless, regardless of the moral issue, regardless of how unjust this is, this is not sustainable. And that is, in a way, like I said, it's not going to help the two, three thousand people who have died and the countless who have been injured. But there is no way that this racist regime can sustain itself. It is unsustainable. Besides being morally repugnant, it is unsustainable. There's already a Palestinian majority in Palestine. We know that in the next five, six years, there will be another 500,000 or so Palestinians in Gaza alone, according to the United Nations report that came out. We know this is happening. This is unsustainable. And one would only hope that the world, including us here, would hear the call that Lila just made and would hear this call for justice in Palestine and we'll hear the calls of the mothers who are losing their children every single day over the last several weeks and years beyond that and get up and do something and act to end the racist 
colonialist Zionist regime in Palestine once and for all? That is the answer. 